Everyone knows that when you sneeze, tiny saliva droplets spray over a large area, and if they contain virus particles, they can make others sick. But how can people without symptoms that do not cough or sneeze transmit COVID-19? We spew out tiny droplets that drift around in the air and can be inhaled by people near us. If those droplets contain coronavirus particles, their next breath could trigger a new COVID-19 infection. These airborne droplets are fleeting and difficult to see. To visualize them, we routed a high-power green laser through optics that create a sheet of light that passes through slots cut into the sides of a cardboard box whose interior was painted black. With HEPA-filtered air blowing down over the laser system and the box, dust is eliminated and the laser beam, though very intense, becomes difficult to see. However, when sticking a hand into the sheet of light, the hand and the interior of the box lights up brightly. As a control experiment, spritzing water droplets from a spray bottle over an opening on the top of the box produced a large number of bright light flashes. When positioning one's mouth above this opening and breathing normally, we don't see any flashes of light inside the box. See what happens when speaking the words safe, not safe? The flashes of light you just witnessed arose from droplets of saliva spewing out of the speaker's mouth. Light flashes also occur when speaking other well-intentioned phrases. Speech droplets can spread COVID-19. Speak through your smartphone, not face to face. Thwarting the epidemic through silence. As you can see, there are no safe words, nor are there safe languages. Ironically, one of the phrases that produces a large number of droplets is Stay healthy. See that again in slow motion. Stay healthy. Though speech in the USA is constitutionally protected, right now it is not safe to speak. Please help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Stop speaking face to face and stay healthy. You've seen the compelling evidence. Now it's up to us. Let's talk virtually and not face to face and we'll put this crisis behind us.